Well hello there folks, happy Sunday to you and I hope that I find you very well indeed. Oh, thank you so much for coming over just to see what I made for the family dinners this week. Now as you know I'm no cook, no chef, nothing like that. I just like to put these videos out because it might give you ideas for yourself, for your own family. If you're new, I'm Cheryl. We are a family of four from the west coast of Scotland and if you do like these kinds of videos please consider subscribing just before you leave. So on Monday we had fish pie but fish pie with a twist I actually put some Cajun seasoning and smoked paprika into my white sauce this time so that's why it's a sort of off sort of pinky colour just in case you were concerned about that but it is just my standard fish pie so it's smoked haddock in a creamy Cajun style sauce top of mashed potato and cheese and parsley just bunged into the oven obviously with the mashed potato on the top and that is one of our favourites lovely with the additional seasoning actually moving on to Tuesday we had bangers and mash so I made a very creamy mashed potato with butter cream and parsley and these are the corn sausages just for a wee change from our usual sausages and some baked beans on the side we've got to have baked beans with this kind of thing you know it just goes so well and these wee sausages were actually very pleasant as well I definitely need to get more of those now on Wednesday this was my recipe for the week was the Chinese takeaway style cashew chicken and I will link this video recipe underneath in case you want to go and watch it so we had some white rice at the side and that's that beautiful cashew chicken oh it was just wonderful my, my mouth is actually watering as I'm watching this I thoroughly enjoyed that I actually put some cayenne pepper into mine just to spice it up a wee bit and I also done some with mashed potato and broccoli on the side as well and this was also fantastic it just went so well like I said I will put the recipe the video a recipe for this underneath along with any other meals that I've done a video on throughout the week. Moving on to Thursday we had spaghetti carbonara because I had some bacon and mushrooms and things that I had to use up but I actually left I left the spaghetti in the sauce a bit too long and it got a bit dried up and a bit overcooked but it was still delicious with some garlic bread fingers on the side and some tomatoes as well that I desperately need to use up. I've got far too many tomatoes so we'll be having tomato sandwiches later on with some shaved parmesan and black pepper on the top. Moving on to Friday, another pasta. So I had this garlic flatbread in the fridge. So this is a sun blush and garlic flatbread and that's just some fresh fusely pasta with some garlic mayo, some tuna and some sweet corn. Really, really simple but absolutely delicious with some cheddar on the top and, and yeah, some more parsley on the top. I've got parsley that I'm trying to get through as well. So generally when I've got parsley, it goes on everything. Moving on to yesterday, we had these wee filled pita pockets. So soup and a sandwich, if you like. First time using these and these were lovely. They were so soft. I toasted these and I've got some roast chicken, some mayo, some sweet corn and some cucumber in there as well. So we had two of those and a chicken and vegetable soup. And then some of these wee waffle fries. And yeah, there's partially on the soup as well. <laughs> And some of these waffle fries, this was the first time, you know, trying these waffle fries. These ones are from Aldi and I'll definitely get them again because they are nice for a wee change from chips or crisps or something like that. And that was the chicken there, just warmed through in the oven. Moving on to today, we had shepherd's pie. I completely forgot that I had Brussels sprouts there to use. So I popped some Brussels sprouts or balls of doom on the side. So that's just my standard shepherd's pie. So it's minced beef, carrots, onions, gravy, topped with a cheesy mashed potato and just popped into the oven to brown. And again, I will leave the video recipe for this down in the description box underneath. So thank you very much for watching if you're leaving at this point. It was lovely to see you. And like I said, if you do like these kinds of videos, please give the, the video a wee like or thumbs up on your way out and consider subscribing. And thank you to you all for supporting my wee channel, for the supporters over on Patreon, to the channel members here on YouTube 
and for you all for watching and liking and sharing my videos. It does mean ever so much and it still blows my mind after nearly four years on YouTube that so many of you are still here, still watching what I'm putting out because a lot of it is a bit sameish. so I'm really blessed to have you. So until I see you next time, which is going to be during the week for another wheat recipe or my shopping unbagging or whatever else comes my way. And I've also got my Degusta box there to unbox as well. So if you do like to get involved in those giveaways, make sure to check during the week. But until I see you, take care of yourselves and I'll see you off as soon. Back here on What's For Tea. Lots of love. Bye for now. Bye.